Welcome to Deadly Dames. So last night Claire and I decided to watch the Autopsy of Jane Doe and this was actually a movie that I really wanted to see at the cinema but it only came out for one night which I think is absolutely atrocious that a film that was this good got one night at the cinema and it happened to be the one night that Claire decided to get a migraine and win so we didn't actually get to see it. Um, and I'm not going to go into a tangent whereas we were discussing movies like you know The Forest and Bye Bye Man which are not the most original horror films in the world actually got a proper cinematic release and this got one night but this was a movie that I'd actually read about a little while ago and it sounded really interesting it sounded like a movie that I would highly enjoy um, and it was that's put it plain and simply I did really enjoy it um, I buy a lot of movies as you know if you watch this mm -hmm. channel and very <laughs> you do <don't>, mm -hmm. <laughs> my to be watch pile is out of control it's not a pile it's a mountain <laughs> But, you know, you know what it's like out there, guys. You know, you work, it's hard to get time to watch everything that you buy. But because there's so many movies that come out, sometimes it's hard to know which one to take a chance on. And sometimes you you end up spending some money and, and you don't enjoy the film and it pisses you off because it pisses me off when that happens. And then you give it six months and you see it for a quid somewhere. It is really annoying, but... If you're like me and you're one of those people that are kind of swithering um, which movies to spend your money on and this is one of the movies that you're swithering on, I would say give it a go because it was really, really good. Basically, the movie is about a father and son relationship and what Brian Cox and um, Emil, Emil Hirsch, Hirsch, I always uh -huh. get his na guy's name wrong, um, do really well in this is that they're highly believable as a father and son. I, I do really believe that the characters pull off that, mm -hmm. that role within them and they run a morgue and this movie sort of starts with a, a murder scene and they half, find a half-buried body of Jane Doe who's actually the main character and it's mm -hmm. quite funny because we were discussing I've never seen a movie where the main character is a body and doesn't mm -hmm. move. Well, I suppose kind of Swiss Army Man but Daniel Radcliffe actually does end Radcliffe actually does end up talking and mm -hmm. stuff but well <laughs> she she doesn't talk at no, all she, or fart she, like in that movie she's uh, literally mm -hmm. just lying on a table but strangely enough though she is quite a big character I mean you you do get to know her a little bit you feel like you get to know her because uh -huh. of the and, autopsy mm -hmm. and what they and find. you do have a bit of sympathy for her. I'm trying not to spoil anything, so we did have a talk about this earlier on how to how do we talk about this film without spoiling spoilers? It. Because it's this is a type of so film hard. That you really I don't I don't want to spoil for anybody. I want no. you to there's movies that you can do a spoil and it's not gonna ruin the film, but this would be one of the movies that if we said anything about it it would it would ruin it and mm -hmm. you, you should go into this movie I would even read the back of it. I would just go into this movie and, and experience let, it for mm -hmm. what it is. And let everything just be a surprise. So basically, once they start doing the autopsy, things start to happen. So we're going to leave it at Strange that. Strange things. Strange things start to happen. So what I really liked about this movie is that it was incredibly tense. So I don't get scared by like ghosts and blood and gore and stuff like that in movies. What scares me is when a movie builds up tension and doesn't mm -hmm. drop it because you need that release in a movie. Like most horror films, they throw in a bit of comedy to try and separate the tension that's built up. And then you get movies like Silent House, which is shot all in one frame and take. doesn't stop. Uh, sorry, one take. It doesn't give you any second of release from the mm -hmm. tension that's building this movie was kind of similar mm -hmm. that it built up and up and up and there was a lot of tension in it um, so much so that I needed to grab my lumpy space princess teddy and give it a wee squash you're going to bring lumpy in she's going to say hi <laughs> she's <laughs> my comfort teddy when uh, when I'm scared so um, I, if, I everybody needs a lumpy I, I feel the way that this film was done though is as the father and son characters are finding things out, you're also finding out at the same time. So when they're going, what the hell? You're also going, what the hell? Because a lot of Because you are... don't really see a lot of it coming, I well, think. Well, so I was going to say, a lot of movies mm -hmm. you kind of guess. Not with it this does, one. It doesn't always can... ruin it by guessing it, but a lot of movies you start to guess what's going on. 
I I didn't really guess anything. I, towards the end, like the further and further the autopsy got, you started getting ideas. Mm -hmm. But what I liked about it is there was nothing definitive. There was nothing set in stone, so they didn't actually spell mm -hmm. out to you. By the way, this is exactly what's going on. The characters were throwing out ideas at the same time as you were throwing out ideas about mm -hmm. what was happening. And I liked that because it left, even at the end, after the characters had kind of come to the conclusion of what they thought their ideas were, they weren't 100% concluded no. either. Because um, they didn't actually know completely you know, what the, was going on. And, and you are the same as mm -hmm. as someone watching it. You don't... You're left... It, although the movie ends, you're still left with... I bet this is what this happened, and I bet mm -hmm. this is what's going on. And so, mm -hmm. I think it's one of those films that it does uh, lead to a lot of discussion about what's actually happened to it's, this unknown. Because nobody, obviously, she's a Jane Doe. She's an unknown, and she's still an unknown. I feel by the end, though, you kind of have your theories which about I like who it. she was and what had happened, but. I, I love films like that where you can it like is we left were, to your own interpretation like we were saying there's nothing better than when a movie ends and then for about an hour to two hours later you're still discussing mm -hmm. what you think was going on in that movie or theorising what, what was happening like like what happened with me, you and Alison at the end of Neon Demons we all had completely Neon Demons, sorry, we all had completely different mm -hmm. ideas and we about what had happened, and that's great because when a movie spells something out to you and it ends, that's it. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna, you're just gonna end up kind of moaning about how they thought you were stupid mm -hmm. because they spelled it out to you. But it's like Starry Eyes did the same. You know, when the movie ended, we were like, I think this is what was happening. I think that, mm -hmm. or like, what was the other one? Let us pray. Remember that did it as well. Yeah. We were kind of like, and the void was similar actually. Mm -hmm. They ended, and in fact, all those movies I've mentioned, if you kind of like them, this would probably be mm -hmm. quite similar for you. Um, it does have sort of aspects of the Conjuring, but do not take from that that it's a haunted thing because it's no. it's really not. I I mean in the the tension that builds, mm -hmm. um, especially near the beginning of the Conjuring, because obviously once they do the reveal of the ghost and that, that's you. Your tension's kind of gone. Similar, but this doesn't do that. It builds and builds mm -hmm. and builds. Similar to the Conjuring, that you do care about the characters, and I think their father son relationship is very important in this film, and it's very believable. And you do care about them. I know, which is a big part of why, why the movie is so enjoyable. Mm -hmm. um, I also really liked, and again, this isn't giving away any spoilers, that this movie did not rely on jump scares. Mm -hmm. but there are parts in it where you, you jump, um, but they're done in a way which mm -hmm. is very clever. It's not just putting in a, a face, face appearing <laughs> in a loud scream. <laughs> You know, when it, for no reason whatsoever. Was that be a scream? That was just that was a sad. I don't want to do a proper scream. You've heard my proper screams. Yeah, it would pierce enough. your ears. But um, like the forest, for example, that we whinge about this all the time. But the forest was a pretty good idea, but it was completely ruined by the amount of jump scares that they put and in there. And then the jump scare at the end. The unnecessary jump scare at the end, just like Sinister Two, the unnecessary jump scare at the end. So there's this none movie of that. does not do this. Um, I felt that this was an intelligent movie made for people who actually like a horror genre for the reason why horror is good, not mm -hmm. for people that just want to go and throw popcorn about the cinema for, and don't actually want to follow a storyline. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I loved about it. I would definitely say, as I said at the beginning, that if you are like me and you spend a lot of money on movies and sometimes you, you're a bit weary about taking a chance in a film, if you're swithering with this one, pick it up because it is 100% worth it. I loved it from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. And because because I do have, I've got a movie addiction, okay? I love movies. I've got to be pretty strict when I watch a film and if I really think I'm not going to watch this again, can I got to pass it on? Share, share the movie love with other people. Give it to Lynn or to my sister and someone let them watch it um, or trade it in. And this is definitely one that is not going into the trade-in pile because I will watch this film mm -hmm. again. Um, even I, I reckon though that this it, because once you've watched it, it will you will discuss it and you will be like, hmm, I wonder if it was this or if it was that or what did that mean and what did this mean. I think it's one of those films that if you watch it again, you'll know you'll probably notice more clues, and then if you watch it again after that, then you'll notice even more. I mean, we've only watched it the once, but I bet if we put it on again, we'll notice things we'll that we didn't see things notice. we didn't see before. Uh -huh. Yeah, 
I mean, I, I absolutely love this movie and I, we just wanted to do a quick review, hopefully with no spoilers for you because we don't want to spoil anything. Um, just letting people know how good this film is and basically telling you to pick up a copy and watch it. So hopefully hopefully we hear, we see lots of other reviews come on from other people because I'd like to know what you thought of it as well. Um, see if everybody else loved it as much as we do and see see what your theories were about this movie because it'd be good to mm-hmm. discuss it with other and folk. And I, I, mm. I bet loads of people come up with completely different things. Mm-hmm. But as always, um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you liked this review. Um, Please like and subscribe and take care.